to the final day of predictions until Wednesday, when we I'm going to do week by week predictions all the way up until the Super Bowl. Um, those will be coming out Wednesdays, but um, yeah. So final day of preseason predictions. Um, and in case you can't tell, I got a new backdrop behind me, background area. Yeah, I was told that this light thing up here, you can kind of still see it. Uh, it made me look like I had a halo, so uh, I moved from over there to right here. And uh, let's just get into it. So the first team in the AFC West, we have the Denver Broncos, who had an absolute win of a draft this offseason. Um, they haven't taken too many steps back that I've been able to see, but still I think I have them going 6-10. and 10. Um I'm not overly confident in Drew Locke this year. Uh, that's just a personal thing. But um, their receiving core is one of the best. Um, at least I, I like the receiving core. Um, Noah Font, their defense still have Von Miller. Still ha has the potential to be scary. And I have him going as most 10-6. and six. Um, But they also could have him going 2-14. and 14. So... Um, I have them going all over the place, but I split the difference, not intentionally. But I have them going six and ten, with some key games to watch. Their first, um, their first two games, Tennessee and Pittsburgh could go either way. Um, then with their game against New England, and then Atlanta, Las Vegas, and the Chargers, the three games after their bye week, all co all could go any either way. Um, their Carolina game. That's the one I have them losing, cause, mainly because I had to give Carolina at least two wins, or a win or two. or um, So yeah, so I have them losing that game because it's in Carolina, and maybe they get lucky. But yeah, that one could easily switch. But yes, anyway, I have them going 6-10. and 10. I think next year is where they're going to take that huge step up and compete with the Chiefs. Speaking of the Chiefs, we have the defending Super Bowl champions up, and... um. We're going to start here. So their floor I have for the Chiefs is 12-4. and four. That's their floor. That's the absolute worst they can do unless like Patrick Mahomes is out for the year. Even still, they probably could get... Yeah, 12-4. and four. Um, Granted, so yeah, so then the most I have them going, 16-0, and 0, obviously. And what I actually have them going is 16-0. and 0. I didn't think so but they only play they play three tough games uh week three against baltimore um and then week week 12 against tampa bay and week 15 against new orleans um all on the road that's the tough part so i now that i'm looking at this a more realistic um could be 13 and 3 or 14 and 2. But I'm sticking with 16 and 0. I, I think they're definitely good enough to go 16 and 0. That's. And the other game to watch out for is week 17. Maybe they start all the backups and somehow lose to the Chargers. But 16 and 0, I think, is very, very plausible for the Chiefs this year. Next is the newly rebranded Las Vegas Raiders, who. Um, they have a lot of potential. Um. I hope Derek... I'm a huge fan of Derek Carr. I hope he comes back and does very well this year. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see some dual quarterback play with uh, Derek Carr, Marcus Mariota in there. I have them going anywhere from 2-14 and 14 to 7-9 and nine, with my prediction being around 4-12. and 12. Um, Which... It's... I don't know how I feel about it. They start off on a huge losing streak. Um, I have them losing week one to Carolina, which could go either way. Um, but then they play New Orleans, New England, Buffalo, Kansas City, Tampa Bay, and Cleveland all in a row. Except minus their bye week in week uh, six. But see, so yeah, they have to pl they play four tough games, um, and then they get a bye week, and then they get two more tough games. Then they get the Chargers, Denver, nice, not as difficult. Then they go right back to playing the Chiefs. Um, then Atlanta, and then a bye week again with the New York Jets. Um, and then 
the rest of the schedule is not hard, but it's not easy. They play Indianapolis, the Chargers, the Dolphins, the Broncos. So I think now that I'm looking over this, eight and eight is also possible. But um, I'm I'm still sticking with four and twelve. And finally, to wrap up, not just the AFC West, the entire AFC, we have the Los Angeles Chargers. And if you have seen my previous videos, you know I love my ties, and I can see that here. I have them going four and twelve as well, um, except for I have their floor a little bit higher, and their ceiling a little bit higher. Um, what I would, it depends on how well they start. If they start off well. Um, then Tyrod, this is Tyrod Taylor's team, and he can get them to eight and eight. I think fairly easily with this offense, he could get them up to eight and eight. But if they start off on a big losing streak, then um, Justin Herbert comes in, and I don't think he can lead them to an eight and eight season. Um, not just because they lost the games early on, but because of the type of leader he is. Um, we don't even know if he is a leader. We don't know. We don't know who he is. We've just seen. We've heard that he, good, good things about him, but we don't know how it will translate to the NFL. So um, if they start off well, which I, I have them getting a win week one, then a four-game losing streak, expect Herbert to get some time there. Then I think um, then they get three easier games, the Jets, the Dolphins, and Jacksonville. And then after that, it will become, um, it will become Justin Herbert's team, as I have them losing every single game after that, including uh, to Vegas, Denver, Buffalo, New England, Atlanta, Vegas again, Denver, and then ending off with a loss to Kansas City. Um, I honestly hope they put Herbert in starting um, after the bye week. That's when I, and then maybe Herbert can get a win against either Denver. Atlanta or Vegas, but um, overall, I don't think it's a, it'll be a great year for the Chargers. But next year, the they will take that extra step. But it also could wait have to wait till the year after that. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, please leave a like, subscribe. It'd be absolutely amazing for me if you guys did that. Um, so yeah, so one more video today. Um, the NFC West, which is it's good. The NFC West is scary good. Um, so 3:30, watch out for that video. Um, yeah, that's that's about all I got. So, adios.